Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back with another video on Titan for the next time. In the previous videos, we have seen about the type conversion from a float and complex to the other data types. In our today's video, we are going to see about the Boolean conversion from one type to another type. Boolean has only two values. The one value is true and the other value is false. So with these two values, let us see how the conversion can to happen. So one, we can use this function to convert other type values to bool type. For example, if you have boolean 0, then it means false. Why false? Because in boolean 0 means false and 1 means true. Then 1 means true. Then you have bool 10. This value is true because it has certain value. It's not 0, so that's why it is true. Again, 10.5, it is float. So this became the integer. This is uh, the float. Data type, so it is true. Then this is again the float data type, but here you have 0, 0.178. It is not completely 0. It is not equal to 0. It is greater, slightly greater than 0. So that, that's why it is true. Then you have 0, 0.0 as a float, which is false. You have a complex number, which has certain value, so it will be a true. You have complex number with a real part is 0. But imaginary part it has certain values, then it is true. Next, you have again the same thing, which is 0 plus 0. That is, the complex part is also 0, and the real part is 0, which is a false. You have a true value, which will be true, false value, which will be true, because it is a string of a false. If you could see here, this isn't the just a Boolean type false, it is a string type false. Then you have a blank, which is false again. Okay, so we have a chart here, wherein if you want to convert any data type into this particular function, so if it, x is an integer, so whatever the x value that is there here, if it is an integer data type, if 0 means false, non-zero means true. So we can keep this, mind, this table in mind. If it is in float, if the total number value is 0, then the result is false. Otherwise, the result is true, which is great. Okay, fine. Next, if both real and imaginary parts are 0, that is 0 plus 0, then the result is false. Otherwise, it is true. If x is empty string, then the result is false. Otherwise, it is true. Fine. So, let us see these things in the Visual Studio Code. Uh, so, we have our uh, Visual Studio Code here. So, we have print, we can convert the bool value, I mean the integer value 10 in the boolean value. So let us see this around. Now we can see this true. If you are going to give a certain floating point value, then again it is true. So if we are going to give 0 to this, so it is false. Okay. Now, if we are going to give the string value as true, remember this is a string, this is not the boolean value. String true. Again, even if you are going to give the false, it is going to give you false because it is a string again. So let us see 0, 0.0, that is the floating point 0, which is false because it does not have any value. So 1.2, it does give you certain values. Oh, sorry, we did not save it. 1.2, it is true again. Again, you have 0 plus 0 plus 1j. So the real part is 0, but imaginary part has certain value, which is true again. If you do not have any value for the imaginary as well as for the real part, then it is false because the value is 0. So this is about the type conversion for a boolean from any of the other data types. Now let us see about the string data type. You can use this method to convert other type values into the string type. So if you're just going to give it as integer, it is going to give you in the quotes that it is 10. Similarly for the float, same way for the complex and also for the boolean value. Let us see these five in Visual Studio. So now we have it 
for string str converge so if i just give a 10 i'll just do one thing i'll write i'll copy for i'll give it for all 10.5 is an integer plus 2j will be complex true will be save it run this function now you can see it is converted but in the back end it will just pretend that it is a string so this is how the conversions of for string and boolean data type are done from the other data types this is all for today's video meet you again in the next video till then keep learning and stay tuned bye bye